Hey everybody, Rick here again. Just want to give you guys a quick review on a new pair of LG Bluetooth headphones I picked up the other day. These are the LG HBS 912s right there. So far, pretty good. Just want to give you a quick review on them and some of the differences between the last pair I reviewed, which were a set of 810s. This no longer has a single cable back piece into larger uh, and front pieces. And this has more of a form-fitting single design, single piece design that kind of goes around. It's very nice, it's very comfortable. The one difference I notice is that this tends to want to roll a little bit more on my neck just because it is just like a nice smooth design here. It will move. Uh, the other differences in terms of the headphones and the cables, these are retracting cables. You pull them out, they lock in place, and when you want them to go back in, there are buttons on each side here and here that you will press, and that will pull them back in. One thing I've noticed is every now and then, the earbud will tend to not go in all the way and leave maybe just a little bit of cable out, and you have to get it to go back in by pulling it out and pressing the button again, and then it'll go back in all the way. Some of the other differences are the buttons for play and pause, call and hang up are on the sides as opposed to on the top here where they were before and here so they are now on the side down here the sliders for volume up and then track up and down sorry volume up down track up and down uh, have nothing on them aside from just a slight texture that is fine haven't noticed any major differences there the on off switch and chargers are charger port are both in the same spot right here okay and the indicator obviously right next to it so for the most part they're about the same as the 810s that i had only the design is slightly different now in terms of sound quality the last pair i had i believe were jbl these harman kardon couldn't really say whether or not they're any better or worse all of these for the most part sound about the same to me a lot of people have issues with the headphone buds clogging up the screens inside of them, you know, with gunk and earwax. So over time, a lot of people have, you know, deteriorations in terms of sound quality. I've never noticed that too, too much. I have had to clean them out before, and that seems to make it a little bit better. I generally only use one headphone at a time, though, so I can hear what's going on where I'm working. So never been a big issue for me, uh, but in terms of sound quality, they're as good as any of the other ones, if not just slightly better. And connectivity issues are, for the most part, about the same as the last pair. They have had a couple instances where they haven't connected to my phone via Bluetooth when I turn them on, and they will essentially lose connection with the headphone, just like the old sets in maybe 10 feet or so as you start to walk away from them or turn the corner and go into a different room. So nothing really improved upon there. That's about the same. Obviously the style, like I said, is different. If you haven't had a pair of these before, for 50 bucks, you can't beat it. It's pretty cheap for how nice these look and for how well they work. So I definitely give them a thumbs up and would recommend them to anybody if they're looking to get a new set of these. Couldn't tell you really what the next step up in terms of uh, design or style or features would be for these and some of the features that these may offer in terms of connectivity and accessibility I don't really particularly use. I use it for the basics and for work and talking on the phone. So can definitely recommend them in regards to that sound quality design, just like any of the other ones. And the price is definitely cheap and right at 50 bucks. Appreciate you guys' time. Talk to y'all later.